Hi ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are doing amazing today in another video. So in this video we're going to discuss weight loss, okay, and uh, see, I'll, I'm going to give you six reasons on why you're not losing fat, okay? I'm not going to say on why you're not losing weight, okay, because there's a huge difference between losing weight and losing actual fat, okay? Uh, so um, I would say that most of us strive um, when we do want to kind of get in shape, right? we should strive to lose fat, not weight, okay, necessarily, because as you guys know, muscle weighs more than fat, okay, and so uh, your your whole goal is to gain muscle so you can lose that fat, okay, and so you can actually have, um, you know, a shapely body, right, a body with a shape instead of, um, um, you know, looking like, like, uh, a similar version of yourself only smaller right and so this is what happens when people do too much cardio okay and the first point that I'm going to go into is that you're doing too much cardio right and you're not doing enough strength training okay so what happens with that is that basically uh, imagine yourself as if you were a sculpture right and so imagine this uh, unsculpted sculpture right and so if you continue doing too much cardio right and not enough weight training you're not gonna have that um, you're not going to have enough muscle, right? And so you're going, your body is just going to shrink. You're going to become smaller, right? And so that sculpture is still not going to be sculpted, right? And so the same applies to your body. Your body is just going to be uh, smaller, but it's not going to have that beautiful shape that you're looking for, okay? And so to get that shape, you need to, you need to uh, gain enough muscle, okay? So once you gain enough muscle, then, you know, your, your body will start... Uh, with strain training, right? Then your body will start to, um, you know, uh, give you that um, beautiful and shapely uh, body, right? Basically. But anyways, uh, one thing that you should consider, right, is that um, if you're a newbie, right, if you're if you're new to strength training, then you're going to be able to lose fat, okay, and gain muscle at the same time. Okay, if you're not new, then no, that's not really possible. Okay, but uh, the good news is that if you have worked out in the past with weights, right, or doing any sort of resistance training, even with your body weight, right, then your body is going to have muscle memory, right, and so that means you're going to gain that muscle much faster, okay, than if you are a newbie. Okay, and so the muscle memory is a beautiful thing your body always remembers, right, uh, so that's that's great, you know, so anyways, keep this in mind, right, you don't want to do too much cardio, you want to do um, more, I would say more weight training than cardio, okay, uh, depending on your body type, okay, so you also have to consider uh, your body type, and I'm not going to discuss the body types in this video, if you want, go ahead and purchase my course, okay, in there I'll give you um, a lot more information when it comes to body types and how they should be training, okay, and how much cardio they should be doing and how much weight training they should be doing, okay. So, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, also right by doing more strength training, okay, you're going to um, once again you're going to gain muscle, and your body is going to your your metabolism is going to increase, okay your scale might go up, okay, and that's okay, because once again, muscle weighs more than fat, okay, so just keep that in mind, don't freak out if it does go up initially, okay, um, so yeah, uh, another thing is, right, um, another point is that you're not eating enough, okay, um, a lot of people do this, okay, so once they go on a diet, right, they start over-exercising, right, like many of us, tend to add a lot of things into the mix, right? We don't just change one thing, we change a lot of things. And that's not necessarily a good thing, okay? So if you're under eating and you're over exercising, which a lot of women tend to do, right? But men too, then um, that's a really big issue, okay? Because you're basically, what you're doing is you're putting your body into a starvation mode, okay? Also, you're going to be catabolic in this case, right? And so that means that your body will start using its own resources, right? Or its own muscles for uh, energy, okay? And so just to survive, basically, okay? So you don't want this, you don't want for this to happen, okay? So in order to gain muscle also, you want to eat, you want to make sure that you're eating enough macronutrients, okay, things like fats, uh, protein, uh, and carbs, okay, um, 
you want to make sure that you're getting a, a good combination of all of them, okay? A good mix of, of all of those macronutrients. Uh, and you need to make sure that you're eating enough calories, okay? One thing that I will I will mention, okay, is that, first of all, you don't want to lower your calories way too much, okay? If you end up uh, for your body type, basically, or for your body, okay, and your weight and your age and so on, right? Um, if, if you're, for example, if your caloric maintenance is 2000, right, then you don't want to lower it by like a thousand, you know, just so you can w uh, lose that fat faster, right? That's not a good idea because it's going to crash your hormones. It's going, going to make you a lot hungrier. Okay. You're going to be miserable. Your energy is going to signi significantly decrease. Okay. And you're going to feel terrible. Okay. So you don't want to do that. Okay. Make sure that you're not lowering your calories by too much. Okay, uh, 200 calories, that's that's a good rule, okay? Uh, the weight loss should be slow, very slow, but steady, okay? And also, it's not going to torture your body too much, okay? So, if you are going by calories, then, yeah, you should do that, right? So, instead of, like, eating 1,000 calories a day, you can, uh, if, you, if your goal is to lose weight, right, or lose fat, then you can lower it by 200 calories, right? So, instead of... Uh, you're going to be eating 1,800 calories, right? Uh, so you can lose fat, okay? For fat loss, right? Um, of course, if you are looking to gain muscle, you're going to eat. You're going to have to eat a little bit over your caloric maintenance, okay? And most of us, what we want to do is we want to gain pure muscle, right? But of course, that doesn't happen. It's really, really difficult to do that. Uh, for the most part, if you are gaining uh, muscle, you're going to also be gaining a little bit of fat too, okay? So that's kind of you know, it just comes with the package, basically, okay, uh, unless you're a newbie, okay, so there's that, right, and so make sure you're eating enough, okay, you don't want your, your, you don't want your body to go into starvation mode, right, and you don't want to crash your hormones, okay, and you don't want to also lose the muscle that you already have, okay, because if you do too much cardio, right, that's a caloric de deficit, right, if you're doing too much cal uh, cardio, right, and that's a ca which puts you in a caloric deficit, basically, right, and you're already um, in a caloric deficit with your diet too, right, then your body is just your your body is going to uh, be catabolic, okay? It's going to uh, use uh, your own muscle for uh, in order to survive. So you, you, if you're going if you're gonna go into starvation mo mode over time, which you, you probably will. Um, then that's not a good thing, okay, because uh, you're, you're basically, um, your body is going to um, conserve all the fat that you're eating now, not just the fat, sorry, the foods that you're eating now, okay, in order to survive. So you're going to save all the, your body is, is you know, it's thinking that it's, uh, it's uh, about to die, right? So it's going, it's going to uh, start conserving every calorie that you're consuming, basically. Okay, it's going to turn it into fat, and so you don't want that. Okay, and that's uh, basically what happens. Okay, if you go too low on your calories when it comes to uh, eating, okay, and exercising too on top of it, okay, so you don't want that. Okay, so make sure you're eating enough. Okay, um, also, okay, uh, my point number three. Uno, dos, tres, right? Point number three, um, you're not eating enough fiber, okay? So you're not eating enough fiber, okay? And um, you want to make sure that you're eating enough fruits, vegetables, right? And uh, whole grains, okay? Because they contain a lot of fiber, right? And so if your goal is to lose fat, right? Then you want to control your appetite, okay? That's, that's key, okay? Uh, in order to control your appetite, okay, you don't want to do too much cardio. That's number one, right? Because I've, I've, um, um, I've even realized this with myself, right? Is that when I used to do a lot of cardio, I used to always be super, super hungry, right? So my body just like burned a lot of calories, right? So I wanted to eat all of that back and then some, right? Uh, and eventually over time, you know, our bodies adapt also, you know? And so uh, they also adapt to different things, right? They adapt to the exercises that we're doing, right? So we have to challenge, like con constantly challenge ourselves, right? In order to continue seeing results, right? In order to progress, right? And so it comes down uh, to foods too, right? Your body always adapts to the calorie intake, right? Also, and so you stop seeing results, right? So adaptations happen all the time with foods, right? When it comes to exercises, 
that's why you have to change things up every now and then okay so that's very um that's important okay so back to the fiber right if you're not eating enough fiber okay what fiber does it it cleans your gut right it cleans out your body right and so it gets rid of all the gunk right in our body that's that's one thing right but it also expands in your body right in your stomach and so that this makes you uh fu feel fuller faster okay and so and for longer too okay so that's the key to losing weight is to control your appetite okay if you can control your appetite by eating enough fiber then that's great you know so you should definitely do that uh, you know, foods that are high uh, in fiber are things like pears, right? Whole grains, of course, right? Like things like oatmeal, like whole grain oatmeal. Um, you know, certain breads, right? Like whole grain breads, uh, whole wheat breads, right? Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, brown rice, you know. Um, what else? Mm. And a lot of different types of vegetables, basically, okay? A lot of vegetables also have a lot of fiber in them, right? It depends on, on the vegetable, things like Brussels sprouts and things like that, okay? So, uh, most m most vegetables, I would say, okay? So, um, let's see, oh, point number cuatro, right? Is it cuatro? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. So, point number four, okay? Uh, you're eating uh, fat-free foods okay there's a huge problem guys okay with fat-free foods I know it's especially uh, common in, in in the USA okay to eat uh, foods with uh, that are f uh, free of fat basically okay and of course you know companies they uh, they're all all about the profit right so they don't care what goes into our bodies as long as the foods stay fresh right and they stay longer on the shelves right and so that's a huge problem uh, we need to consider this too, okay, when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to foods, okay, because a lot of them have preservatives, right, that are not good for us, they've got chemicals, okay, they've got all kinds of, uh, basically all kinds of junk that you do not want in your body, okay, and so when it comes to fat-free foods, okay, you want the fat to be in your food, okay, and the reason being is because fat actually keeps you full for longer, right, and, um, Companies know that by removing the fat, right, you're going to get hungrier faster, okay, and you're going to purchase more food, right, and that's what they want. They're after that profit, right, so they're going to, uh, that's why, you know, fat-free foods have been promoted for, so, you know, um, they started getting promoted, basically, right, but it's actually not good for our health, okay. Fat is, is great for our health, guys. Ever since I uh, moved to Bulgaria, right, from the USA, uh, I um, I basically lost weight, right, and I just, uh, um, now I can pretty much eat what I want, okay, and I, I drink, like, mil like, milk that comes straight from the cow with the fat on top, right, um, and it's delicious, and uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing, it's really, really good for you, you know, uh, I eat fat, uh, you know, I eat fat all the time, basically, I eat cheese, right, I eat... Uh, yogurt with fat on top also you know like the one that's in the can uh, not in the can in the um, in the jar right in the glass jars and so that's just the best guys like it's so amazing it's so yummy it's tasty and I do not miss the fat free foods I used to you know be into that it's it's not not a good idea okay like I said because it will make you hungrier you're going to want to eat more right as a result so the whole point is for you to control your appetite right and that means uh, don't get don't uh, eliminate the fat okay from your diet your your body also needs the fat in order to make hormones right um, it's good for your skin uh, okay it's really good for your skin especially you know fats that come from uh, vegetables right like avocados are amazing for your skin uh, they're even really good to put on your skin you know coconut oil is also amazing I always cook with coconut oil uh, I use it for everything too as a moisturizer okay uh, things like that anyway so number five right uno dos tres cuatro cinco cinco right so five uh, we have the sugar-free foods, okay? Once again, right, sugar-free foods, uh, they, there has been a lot of research done on them, okay? And, and uh, some sugar-free uh, substitutes or some sugar substitutes, they have the same, they have a bad uh, effect on insulin, okay? They can increase your insulin. Uh, they're bad for your gut bacteria. Uh, things like sucralose it has been shown to be bad for your uh, uh, but 
gut bacteria, okay? It decreases your metabolism uh, and also it uh, basically sometimes your body does not, it cannot distinguish between sugar that is uh, just regular sugar, right? versus uh, sugar substitute, okay? So it can have the same effect on your body, like ra a raised uh, blood sugar, you know, and, and then in turn increased appetite, okay? You don't want that basically, okay? So keep this in mind, okay? Also sugar, right, has things like iron, magnesium, calcium, okay? Uh, so w whereas a sugar substitute doesn't have any of those uh, nutritional benefits, okay? So uh, keep that in mind, right? And um, yeah, um, I wouldn't recommend sugar substitutes, okay? Because once again, they do have, they can sometimes have the same effect uh, on our body as uh, regular sugar, okay? So, and uh, if you're um, in, uh, when you, when it comes to fat loss, you're looking to control your appetite once again, right? That's the key to, to losing fat is to control your appetite and to actually to receive the correct uh, signals from your body um, when it comes to eating, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, and which other one did I have here? Six, right? So, CS, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, CS, CS, right? Number six. <laughs> Um, you're always on a diet, okay? Um, you don't want to always be on the on a diet, okay? In fact, I don't recommend diets at all, okay? If you want to lose fat, I think the, the best way to go about it is to uh, include a variety of different foods in, into your um, diet, right? Or I would just say it, it's to eat for... It's eat, eating to live, right? It's eating to maintain your health. It's eating to maintain your energy levels, right? Uh, it's eating to to help your body out. It's to it's eating to uh, support your immune system, right? It's to eating to support your health, right? Uh, and uh, I don't know to even help your body from from you know to protect you from like harmful sun rays, right? Or pollution, right? And things like that. And all the freaking chemicals that they're adding into the air nowadays, right? Uh, and so, yeah, believe it or not, there are certain spices that you can use to help your body cleanse all of that gunk, you know, all of those chemicals, right? Uh, so, yeah, it does matter what you're eating, right? And so, um, yeah, don't always stay on a diet, okay? Because staying... Um, as you guys know, right, even bodybuilders don't stay in the same same shape, uh, in the same excellent shape all year round, right? Uh, they know uh, fully well that there's a bulking season, right, for example, that they go on, right? And uh, the bulking season actually gives them a break from that diet, okay, they, that they've been on, okay, while they were cutting, okay? So you want to give your body a break from dieting, and the reason being is because your body needs to restore... Uh, all the hormones, right? All the hormones have to go back to normal, okay? So um, there's that, right? Also, um, you know, it will improve your energy level too, right? So, um, and uh, yeah, you, you basically, um, you want to stay away from dieting all year round, okay? If you are always on a diet, once again, your body is not going to have enough energy, okay? Your health might start getting affected, okay? Uh, your nails, you know, might not grow anymore. Your hair will not grow as well, you know. And so there are a lot of implications that come with dieting all the time, okay. So you don't want for that to happen. So it's really important to take breaks every once in a while, you know. You can do things like refeeds, right, like carbohydrate refeeds. Uh, you can do things like um, circulating your calories, right, like... Uh, and I mention all of that in my videos, by the way. I'm not going to go into it in this video, okay. Uh, so feel free to purchase my course guys. It's really really good. I uh, Put a lot of hard work into it and I think I give you a lot of great um, ideas there, okay, and, and Some science too, of course, okay, and so yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching guys uh, happy weight loss Okay, happy fat loss, okay, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, okay, please subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, like my channel if you did like it Thank you so much for watching. Okay, much love to you guys.